That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Today I'm going to be making peanut butter cookies. I promised you guys I was gonna show you guys how I cook something and it's the holiday, it's Easter, so I'm making cookies today. Before I get to that, I want you guys, if you haven't already done it, to subscribe to my channel, hit your like button, share this video so your people can learn how to bake some cookies, leave comments, let me know what you think of this video, and go check out some of my other videos and do the same, share and like. You know how we do it. So, that being said, I'm gonna start. I actually started already. I put my butter in the bowl already. So, I'm gonna give you guys this recipe as I go so that you guys can make these cookies at home. I use one cup of butter, that's two sticks. If you use stick butter, I love stick butter. And I'm gonna put one cup of peanut butter in here. And then I like to put in my sugars because I'm going to cream the butter and the sugars together. So next is going to be the white sugar. This is one cup of white sugar. I pre-measured all of my stuff so y'all didn't see me fumbling all over the place <laughs> while I was measuring. And I'm going to do one cup of brown sugar. And it's one cup of firmly packed brown sugar. I like to use light brown sugar. Do this until it's smooth and creamy. Make sure my VI people get the side. to tell y'all I pre preheated my oven to 350. Next is two eggs. And we're gonna mix that up.
and then a teaspoon of vanilla. Might be a little bit more than a teaspoon, y'all. <laughs> bowl I mix my dry ingredients again I pre-measured some things so I'm using two cups of flour I'm going to use I'm going to use a teaspoon of bacon soda baking powder. Secret magic ingredient I use a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. People usually don't put cinnamon in their peanut butter cookies, but um, I do. It makes them taste. It's just like a special taste. Y'all taste so good. I'm not a big peanut butter cookie eater, but one day I decided to put cinnamon in them and it made them taste so much better. So if you are not really into peanut butter cookies, just try it, make it with some cinnamon and uh, just taste it, taste it, it makes it taste better. And I use my whisk. I like to use a whisk to mix that all up together. It kind of makes the flour fluffier and it makes your cookie fluffy and soft. your dry ingredients to your wet ingredients a little bit at a time so that you can make sure that it gets all mixed up. It's kind of
that you put in here, the harder it is to mix it. I start off mixing on medium and then I turn it up high. I also like to, when I'm done, use a spoon to get around the edges, which I'm gonna do after, after I um, get some of this dough off of these. What do you call these things, mom? The thingies that go in the mixer. <laughs> can't see me I'm wiping up a little bit because well, yeah, thank you it's messy, messy. Introduce me to these silicone uh, covers for your cookie sheets because I was using parchment paper and you have to cut parchment paper and you're a hassle and a mess. Mm. And I use um, ice cream. Oh, ice cream. <laughs> okay. So um, some people measure the ice cream. Out. Some people measure cookies out with spoons. I use an ice cream scooper, it's easier, and it makes your cookies look better if you're a um, presentation person. And you can get your cookies the same size. So I'm going to put these cookies on this cookie sheet and I'm gonna put them in the oven for eight minutes. And then when I come back, I'm gonna show you what they look like when they come out. So I will see you in a few minutes. Everybody, I am taking the cookies out of the oven. Yeah. I want y'all to uh, see what they look like coming out and what they look like going in. Okay. <laughs> so when they come out, let them. 
cookie sheet for about two minutes before you put them on the cookie cooler. The cooling rack, excuse me. <laughs> so just to recap, those are my peanut butter cookies. You use a cup of butter, that's two sticks, a cup of sugar, a cup of brown sugar, two eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla, two cups of flour, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Put them on the cookie sheet about an inch or two or two apart and let them bake. It really depends on your oven. I'll say from eight to 10 minutes, let them bake. Um, and you will have the perfect peanut butter cookie. So Donnell and Electra, if I can't send you your favorite peanut butter cookies, now you know how to make them yourself. <laughs> so um, that's all I have for you guys today. Until next time, make sure you tune in. I told you guys I'm showing love for the next few days. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Until next time, I said what I said. I meant what I said, and I love you. Bye. Bye. I'm showing these